Carl Karcher was born in Upper Sandusky, Ohio in 1917. Carl was only schooled through the eighth grade before he left the classroom to help his parents on the family farm. In 1937, Carl moved from Ohio to Anaheim, working around the clock at his uncle's feed store for $18 a week. In 1939, Carl married his lifelong wife, Margaret, and in 1941, bought a hot dog cart for $326. $15 down in cash, and the rest borrowed from his new car, a Plymouth Super Deluxe. Then things started rolling. Carl made $14.75 from hot dog cart sales on his first day. In 1945, Carl started making hamburgers at Carl's Drive-In Barbecue in Anaheim, before the first Carl's Jr. opened in 1956. In 1980, Carl passed the president and COO title to his brother Donald Karcher. And in 2001, Carl and his wife, Margaret, celebrated the company's 60th anniversary. Today, the business begun with that hot dog cart has grown to include thousands of restaurants. CKE Restaurants Incorporated, through its subsidiaries, operates over 3,000 franchise or company-owned restaurants in 44 states and in 14 countries. The company employs almost 30,000 people. Carl Karcher had suffered from Parkinson's disease. His failing health forced him to retire as Chairman Emeritus in 1994. Here we have Carl Karcher, Carl and Margaret Magdalene. Faithful husband, loving father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. Rest in peace, Carl. Here we are with Carl Karcher, who in 1941, as well, the intro said, and it was well done by the OC Register, which is the local newspaper in Anaheim in the Orange County area, where Carl Karcher was a bread delivery man and he borrowed money from his Plymouth and another 15 bucks which was about $350 where he opened up his hot dog cart in LA and in Anaheim that did so well that he was able to open his Carl's barbecue restaurant and from there from that quick serve he decided to switch over start doing burgers and grew it into Carl's Jr. and what we know today also they bought out Hardee's I believe it was in the late 90s I'll show a map of parties and And the gentleman from Hardee's, he started Hardee's back in 1960, which was the East Coast. And then they just implemented the menu because Hardee's was already a well-known name. So Hardee's and Carl's Jr. came together. Carl's Jr. also bought out Green Burrito, if you know, you see the locations. Very popular here in Southern California, but I thought this was very uh, interesting. I mean, there's the movie The Founder with Michael Keaton playing Ray Kroc in, in the McDonald's movie, but I gotta say, Carl, they need to do one on you and the Happy Star. If you remember growing up in the 90s, the big thing was on all the commercials, they'd have the girls and stuff and then the burgers, and the gr girls would be different models. Sorry about the wind, it's coming over the hills here, but uh, Paris Hilton was one of them, and they'd be different, like, celebrities of the time before you know all the social media we have now and the ease of that but so this cemetery is the holy i believe it's pronounced sepulcher s-e-p-u-l-c-h-e or supple yes i believe sepulcher cemetery out in orange kind of off the 241 off chapman between catella but this is where the carter families are laid to rest here we have carlene karcher loving mother right next probably most likely their daughter Carl but as I was looking around and they do have well this statue that was donated is awesome and it said Lord make me an instrument of thy peace a gift of Margaret and Carl Karcher and Carl did have Parkinson's when he did pass away he was going through a lot and stepped down from the Carl's Jr. Uh, company. And as I walk over here on this morning, there's quite a few people out here.
which is nice. Here's some more Karchers. Franklin and Joseph. Lucille, Joe, and Hines. And it's weird, too, because you see Hines on a lot of the names, and a lot of these people came from the Midwest. Oh, Lucille's still around, 1932. And over here, we have Donald Frederick, loving grandpa and dad, and Dorothy Macbeth, Karcher. And next to them, we have the parents and grandparents, Bernard and Joan. He calls us each by name. And I'm kind of doing this video a little bit backwards from my other ones. And just wanted to pay my respects. Come by and see the final resting place. If you want to come by, it's really easy to find. And now let's go over to Carl's. That's the best hamburger you ever tasted. Mm, sure is. Come on, I'll show you how a Carl's Jr. hamburger gets all its flavor. The secret is our char broiler. The 100% beef patty is broiled to seal in the juices. That's where the taste is. There's no better way to cook a hamburger. Char broiling, so that's the secret. Where'd you go? All right, so we made it over to a Carl's Jr. in Orange, California. So the original Orange is over on uh, 1108 North Palm Street, which is actually not there anymore because that's where the Boniface Church is. And I guess the Bethany Hall now stands where the original Carl's was. That's the barbecue one that was the barbecue from 1941 to 1956. But I figure we still go by a Carl's Jr. anyways. Grab a burger. Carl's is known for their char broiled burgers. And before we go in, Talk about the sign a little bit, how it's changed over the years and the reasoning why. As you can see, the lettering on this is actually in white. I mean, some of them you'll see with the black signs, it's a newer thing. I don't like it. The red and the yellow are the known uh, colors for Carl's. With the happy star smiley face, you can't really see them behind the palm tree, but on the, on the window there. But I'm gonna order something, go inside, let's go. All right, I'm waiting for my order and as the car pulls out, what I wanted to show you real quick is the change that they've done. So this little Carl's guy didn't come around until 1956. And like the writing too, the original Carl Jr. writing was San Seraf, I believe is how it's pronounced, where the letters bounce up and down all over the place. And then it changed multiple times. In 1977, it became more uh, friendly with a little grinning face like this. I mean, back in the 50s, he had like a, in one little, I guess arm, he had a soda and a, a burger, but that kept changing. And then 85, everything was straightened out. So it was more like this style, Carl's with it all in line. And then uh, in 2006, they redesigned it and they put the charbroiled burgers on there because the slogan used to be, not just a burger, but a Carl's burger, charbroiled. So, and then 2020, they change it again. But we're gonna run inside and go grab my order. I just ordered through the app. And uh, yeah, they changed it back to the straight style. So let's go check it out. Never seen a Carl's like this where they have the stars as you walk in. This is a pretty impressive one. This thing's kind of huge. There's nobody here right now, but yes, that's where I'm at. I think that used to be like a playground over there. Western bacon, one of my dad and my favorite, but still pretty early. So we're gonna get the breakfast burger well we got the the breakfast burger we're gonna go check it out but one thing i want to say is this is the one on 450 main street on the city drive if you ever come into orange but the lady was so nice because the stupid app sent it to a another carl's jr where they were making it over there and she was nice enough to call them for me and just make it here so i didn't catch your name thank you carl's jr thank you carl got the carl's right here once again as always, thanks for watching. Did a Carl's Jr. video I didn't think I'd do. Let's take a look at this. Freshly made breakfast burger. Getting up to a thousand. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, just even watching a minute or the whole thing. Uh, what else was I going to say? Got some other videos coming up a little bit different that are going to be fun. So if you have any ideas too, that is what we're dealing with. Please throw it in the comments, and as always, I'll see you next time.
Oh yeah, one more thing. Carl Jr. was always big in the 90s. Oh yeah. Got the hash browns, the bacon, the egg. Very good. So the Carl's commercials used to be charbroiled, and then in the 90s, they went through a whole revamp. They used to do use Paris Hilton and stuff, like I was saying. Different models, like sexy girls dressed up. Um, they were always known as an American burger company. They're one of the top burger companies around the world with over 3,000 locations worldwide. Oh, that's good. But going back to the 90s and 2000 when I was growing up, they used to have great commercials. So we're going to end with that. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. What's more American than a cheeseburger? This cheeseburger, loaded with a hot dog and potato chips. In the hands of all American model Samantha Hoops. In a hot tub. In a pickup truck. Driven by an American bull rider. On an aircraft carrier. Under the gaze of Lady Liberty. As she admires the most American thick burger. With a split hot dog and kettle cooked potato chips on a fresh baked bun. New at Carl's Jr.